further to my review about the Z4i, which I sort of thought was a mid-range scope from Swarovski, and it's actually got the best transmission that they offer. The same thing applied with this SLC. I asked to review it as a, a mid-range option, slightly cheaper. It lacks a couple of the things that the top of the range one has, and I thought it would be optically just a notch down. And um, it transpires that it's got the best transmission in their range. It doesn't have some of the field flattening technology that the EL has, which I don't like. So, or rather, it, I respect it, but it's not something that I need and value. So I was really surprised when these SLCs arrived because immediately I was thinking, wow, this, this could be the best binocular I've ever used. And it's, you know, three or four hundred pounds cheaper than the, than the EELs. This is the 10 by 50 model. And um, yeah, it, it is the best binocular I've ever used, including the Victory and the, and the ELs. And I'll, I'll tell you why. It's quite a personal thing at this level, but I find that this is a 50. It's not got the open hinge. I suppose it's heavier than um, the state of the art. M maybe, that's, maybe that's something. I don't really care. It fits well in the hand. It is obviously a large binocular. 50 mil. from my point of view for scanning um, long range high high resolution often poor light a few grams doesn't matter I wouldn't want to put them around my neck and go stalking with them but then I use a tiny little rangefinder that I slip in my pocket for that um, so given the premise that these are bulkier optically I am I'm blown away by them because I suppose the the 50 mil gives a really, a really generous um, eye box exit pupil. You've got five mil, haven't you? And that really, really pops. It, it's very, very easy to get a perfect sight picture. And I just adore the ergonomics, particularly this diopter. What you do, obviously here's your Nice clicks there. I mean, this is all premium stuff. Lovely. But what I really like is when you adjust the binoculars to your eye, you um, get the left eye um, sorted for, the, for what you're looking at. And then you close that eye and you adjust the right one, don't you? And you adjust the diopter. But it's difficult because your eye will adjust quickly in a couple of seconds. So you have to quickly adjust it. And it's often quite fiddly. And it's difficult to get right. On this system, it's great. You do your left eye, and then, which you've done with this, yeah? And then to do the right, slide that towards you. Get it where you want it. Slide it forward. It's so easy to do. The easiest I've used yet. And I think that's really well thought out. And that actually makes getting this binocular sharp and perfect for your eyes easier. And that's, that's important stuff. So, um, love that. Optically, how can I put it? It gives a, uh, a more 3D image than the ELs, uh, more like what Zeiss uh, victories give. Personal preference there, but it is my personal preference. The iBox is um, Premier League, and the brightness, the resolution, the pop, the, the whole package optically is absolutely top of the tree, including so, the ELs. In summary, I would say the SLCs are heavier, um, but the fact that they're cheaper does not mean they're optically inferior to the top of the range ELs. What you're paying for with the ELs are some state-of-the-art perspective changing things like this, this field flattening thing they do that you may not like, and I personally don't. And you're paying for lightweight, you're not paying for better optics. So bear that in mind, if you want maximum transmission, you probably want to start looking at the SLCs first. 
then decide do these have to be the lightest they can possibly be maybe if you wanted a you know a, a, a sort of a scanning binocular but also one that you had it you carried with you all the time then you might want the very lightest then the ELs are, are state-of-the-art aren't they but if you want to sit down still and you want the best image you can possibly get and you're not bothered about an extra 50 grams and you're very keen to save three or four hundred pounds these SLCs have blown me away and uh, as I say I've been using the victories and the um, uh, and the ELs for for ages so um, you know I've used good glass and, and these SLCs are a firm favorite I'll be very sad to see these go back these 10 by 50s are great for long-range spotting there is also a 15 times model I'm very interested in trying the 15 by 50 which I think would still give a solid um, eye box and would be certainly the glass can handle 15 times mag I think that would be a, a really good handheld spotter that um, particularly if you were sitting and you had them on your knees or if you were wearing a harness I think that holding them still wouldn't be a big problem I think they'd be great but um, yeah premium quality stuff this the SLC is not a mid-range binocular it's a top of the range binocular that is just a nudge heavier remember that and it might make you um, get a bargain rather than just thinking I want the best I can buy I'm going to buy the ELs okay hope that helps guys thoroughly recommended kit as ever from Swarrow